Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie if you're new here and welcome to Cassie's Castle. For today's video, we are doing a villains ranking video. I've done a couple ranking videos before on this channel, so if you're interested in those, I'll link those down below. But today we are ranking the Disney villains in Spirit of Halloween. If you are interested, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and let's get started. Before we start, I need to preface this by saying these are just my personal opinions on the villains. You don't have to agree with me. It's just a fun time. For today's video, we have 15 Disney villains. There's obviously a lot more villains that exist, but I just kind of picked out like the top 15 that like most people know and are most popular. Starting at number 15, I have Sean Yu, which is the villain in Mulan. I just can't stand this guy. I feel like with the villains, I gravitate more towards like the funnier villains or like villains with like really good songs. He doesn't even sing and not one thing that he said was funny. Like he's just pure evil. Like he literally was just like trying to like get rid of all of China. That's not very nice of him. We don't stand on you. Like he, <laughs> he's gotta go, okay? At number 14, I have Captain Hook. <laughs> He's just, he just doesn't do it for me. First of all, he goes after children, which I mean, a lot of these villains do. I feel like he goes after children for really no reason, like at all. He doesn't have like a motive. He just wants to get rid of the children. <laughs> like that just doesn't really make sense to me. So for that reason, don't really like him. He is kind of funny, like his interactions with the crocodile, but like I honestly found the crocodile funnier than him. I don't really have anything bad to say about him, but when I think Disney villains, oftentimes forget he exists, if I'm being honest. At number 13, we have Queen of Hearts, and she's also another villain that I feel like is kind of forgettable, like she doesn't really do much. I feel like she's just like an angry lady for like really no reason, and the only reason why she's higher than Captain Hook is because I really like her outfit in the live action and I also really like her makeup and I also love the actress that plays her in the live action so that's why she's higher than Captain Hook but if not like I could probably put her at number 14. She doesn't really do anything for me. Does she sing a song? No she doesn't. Is she funny? Not really so at number 12 Lady Tremaine and I feel like Lady Tremaine is one of the most evil people. Okay first of all I we can go on about Lady Tremaine, okay? First of all, she uh, marries Cinderella's dad, and then he dies, which I have theories that she plotted his death. Like, there's no way that it was an accident. Like, she definitely plotted it. Did she plot it in the live action? I don't know, but I just have a theory that that's what she did, and I'm just gonna stick with that. You can't convince me otherwise. She took over the house, which, okay, that's what most stepmothers do. They take over, you know, like the husband's house. If he were to die, like that's the point of like getting remarried, right? But then she made the daughter the slave. And like that is absolutely disrespectful. Like a slave in her own home or a servant, whatever you want to call her, I think it's slavery. It was not okay. I don't agree with it. I think it's so rude. And she's just one of those like hating women. And like I can't stand women that just hate on other women. Like, are you okay? And plus she's like a grown woman. Like you're literally hating on a child. Like what is your problem? The only reason why she's higher than the others is because I feel like the others are just not memorable and just like so not important when it comes to Disney villains. So that's why she's ahead. But she honestly is terrible. At number 11, I have the evil queen. Once again, another Hayden woman. Literally this girl was just so jealous of Snow White and was like, yeah, like, we gotta get rid of her. We gotta kill her. Let's go. Like, she's gotta go. What? I cannot stand Evil Queen. <laughs> she's freaking crazy. And then she was like, you know what? You can't do it. I'm gonna do it myself then. Like, <laughs> she's like, I literally don't care. I'm gonna do it myself. And I'm gonna poison this girl, this poor 14 year old girl because she's prettier than me like what do you mean only reason i have her higher than lady tremaine i honestly don't even have a reason she's like kind of iconic she is like the first disney villain so like that's why she's higher there she could probably start like an apple business you know how people like bob for apples like during halloween like i think she could probably 
brand that. At number 10, we have Jafar. And to be honest, I don't know why he's here. <laughs> now that I'm looking at this list, I don't really care about Jafar. Honestly, could be one of those forgettable villains for me. So I don't know, maybe I'll move him down like underneath Lady Tremaine. I don't know why I had him so high, if I'm being honest. What does he do? He doesn't sing. He's definitely not funny. He hypnotized the Sultan, which like isn't even that bad. You let me know. Where do, where do you think Jafar should go on this list? Should he be at the top? Who should he be at the bottom? I have him come in the middle because in the middle, like I don't really care about them. You know, it's really the top four that are just like my faves. At number nine, I have Dr. Facilier. I love Friends on the Other Side. That's a great song. I also think he just has like this cool swag about him, which I really like that about him. I don't really have anything bad to say about Dr. Facilier. I think the reason why he's not higher is because I don't really know why. He's just not very evil, in my opinion. Like he's not, he didn't really do much that was like evil, you know, like he's just really cool. I feel like the Disney villain has to be like, at least for me personally, it needs to be like someone that's super evil, but like also super funny and then also has great music, you know, like I need like a good balance of the three and I feel like he's just not very evil. The character's kind of in the middle, like I'm honestly confused about, I don't know how much I love or how much I hate them. They're just kind of there. At number eight, we have Gaston. Now I think Gaston is one of the funniest villain, villains, villains ever. I love Gaston, honestly. He is just so cocky and just so conceited and I think it's hilarious. However, I don't like the way he treats Belle. I don't like the way he treats women, which is why he's not higher on the list. Once again, I could probably switch him switch him and Dr. Facilier and I wouldn't have no problem doing that. The song Gaston, iconic. At number seven, we have Scar. Now Scar is probably one of the most evil villains ever. He actually killed his brother, like he really did that. And he had no shame, he didn't feel anything like that. Takes another form of evil. I really want a, like, I would love to know his backstory. Like I feel like there has to be some sort of childhood trauma that made Scar this way, like to make him hate his brother so much. Like he had to, uh, honestly, I, he was probably just jealous. I'm just not into like the haters and he is just a little hater boy and I cannot stand the hater boys. And then he uh, made his nephew believe that he did it. Nephew was like five years old. like what like that is so twisted and so messed up i don't know why he's so high on my list i think scar is just higher than dr facilier because i grew up watching lion king and so he just has like a little bit of a special place in my heart whereas dr facilier is like a bit newer and like i just don't really have any sort of attachment At number six we have maleficent maleficent is tricky i feel like she's definitely like a lot of people's favorites and so when i was making this list i kept contemplating like no she should be at number three she should be at like number two because everyone loves her i should love her like but honestly like i don't love her that much i think after the live action my perspective on her definitely changed she did move up on my list because the live action doesn't make her my new favorite you know what i mean i mean they really did do her dirty so like i understand why she comes across a little crazy sometimes I'd be the exact same if not worse so honestly it's fine at number five we have mother Gothel and I honestly did not think I would have her this high up ah, she's just so iconic to me there is something about mother Gothel she is just so freaking crazy and there's something about someone wanting something so bad they'll do anything for it that's so like twisted like she literally kidnapped child <laughs> because she needed to look beautiful like i mean honestly that's better than evil queen right evil queen just was like no you're prettier than me we got to get rid of you bye at least mother gothel took the child and was like no we're gonna be beautiful together and i'm gonna raise you i mean she didn't torture her she didn't make her a slave like lady tremaine did to cinderella i mean she did to kidnap her i'm not saying the kidnapping is okay if i'm being honest mother knows best is really why she is 
up there. It's a little crazy, but I kind of love the craziness. And what's really interesting is that things like this happen all the time. Like women literally are out here kidnapping children because they can't have their own children. I watch a lot of true crime videos and like this is like a real thing. I kind of like that she kind of touches on that a little bit in that movie in a weird twisted way. Number four, we have Yzma. <laughs> I love Yzma. Yzma's from Emperor's New Groove, one of the funniest villains. Like, honestly, I could have her at number one, but you'll see who my number one is and you will understand why they gotta be at number one. She wanted to take over Cusco's empire or whatever it is. Cusco wasn't doing, like, that great of a job anyways. Like, he wasn't doing what needed to be done. He was very selfish, so honestly, Cusco is honestly the real villain here. Like, I don't think it's easy, but it's definitely Cusco. Who knows how the em the Empire would have been with her in charge. But I would have loved to see it because she's freaking funny. Her sidekick, Kronk. I mean, the best duo, villain duo ever. Yzma's so good, she doesn't even need to have a villain song. Number three, we have Hades, another amazing villain that does not need a song in order to be great, which is why we love him. I, too would be so like angry if my brother all my siblings are gods goddesses living up above and i am stuck in the underworld like <laughs> you can't tell me you'd be happy how did he get there i don't know was he just placed there i don't know but if someone wants to let me know how does hades become hades Tell me. I think him being so funny is enough for him to be in the top three easily. Like, you cannot tell me Hades is not your top three favorite. He is great. And number two, we have Cruella. If it was just off of the original Cruella, 100% she would have been at the bottom somewhere. But with that live action, <laughs> there's going to be a second one. I love Cruella. You guys know I love fashion. I love style. And she has both those things and more girl with the trash bag outfit like a moment i understand why she's so crazy like i would be the same way like that lady ugh, if you haven't seen it i don't want to spoil it you need to watch carla if you haven't yet it's on disney plus now you don't even need to pay for premium like just go watch it it's so good she is just amazing i love her there's not much i need to say once again a villain that does not sing a song doesn't need to because she's so good but also Cruella de Vil from the original like that's a vibe even though she doesn't sing it no well, that's a whole that's a bop okay our number one Disney villain I'm sure you guys could have guessed it's Miss Ursula Ursula has been my favorite because you guys know Little Mermaid was my favorite movie as a kid growing up my favorite princess period love her first of all She's funny. She uh, literally was out here with those curves and she was like, all you need is body language, y'all. Like, you don't need a tongue, you just need body language. And like, period. I also love that she's purple. I don't know why, I just really love that. I also love her like, corset style sweetheart neckline outfit. Octopus look, love it. Her transforming into Vanessa. She a baddie. She really is a baddie. Oh my god. This girl has two songs, okay? She has that first song. What's the first song? Poor Unfortunate Souls. Literally listening to it last night. Poor Unfortunate Souls is the best villain song, period. Ugh, I just, I love her. She not only had one song, she said, I'm gonna turn into Vanessa and I'm gonna give you another fire song, okay? Really short. She was checking herself out in the mirror a moment she is so cool you cannot tell me ursula isn't the best villain i mean you can go ahead tell me in the comments but you're wrong the thing is i don't even think she's like that evil you know like she literally told ariel what the deal is okay evil because she's literally making deals with a 16 year old like that is just but all these villains we agree that all these villains are going after children like something's messed up up here we get that. She told Ariel what was up. She said, no voice, and you gotta get this man to fall in love with you. You got three days, girl. She made that so clear, and if you can't, she said, you mermaid forever, and you live with me for the rest of your life. And Ariel still signed, so like, Ariel, not very smart. We already know that. King Triton, I think, is the real villain here, okay? This man knew, he knew that he had the power to give Ariel legs. So she could be a human and he said no 
He said no. Obviously, if you tell a child no, they're gonna want to do it even more. Like, that's parenting 101, people. So then she goes, makes her little deal with the devil, Miss Ursula, Queen, Bay, And then, at the end, he was like, ah. All right, you disobeyed me. Let me just give you your leg. You could have just done that in the beginning and we wouldn't have this issue. You know what I'm saying? So King Triton's a real villain. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know who your favorite villains are and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye guys.